All right, guys, if you're here right now, you obviously need some help in Tekken 8. Don't worry, my boy, I got you. I already dropped a video with five things that you can do to help you grow in Tekken. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. I'll be right here jamming to this little beat, so don't mind me. Why you go check that out? I'll give you a few seconds. All right, your few seconds is over, and now, five tips to help you improve in Tekken. Let's get it. So first things first, I want to show you all something, man. Now, you got, I got uh, Azucena right here. I got Warren right here. Does this look familiar? Oh no. I'm getting kicked to fucking death, right? Oh, what, about, what do I do about that? What do I do? He's just kicking the shit out of me. Alright, we can stop him. We can make him chill for a second. You know, he doesn't relax online, but he's relaxing right now. Now, this is real simple. I want you to get in the mindset of him doing all this, all these ticks and stuff like that. It's a lot, but it's not spam. You are not being spammed. Get out of the mindset of being spammed. You cannot spam in a game where your objective is to win and you're designed to use by whatever means that you know they give you in the move move set. Even the um, the unblockable moves. Do they suck to get hit by them? Yeah. But you're not being spammed, bro. And don't worry, you probably did block that one thing. But, you know, there's just a lot to learn in the game. And spamming and spamming is a mindset I feel like people should just take out of the equation. Especially when it comes to, like, a game that doesn't have, I would say, a ton of projectiles. There is a few. But even then, with projectiles involved, this is they're still not spamming you. It is a core, unfortunately, a core element to the characters. Like, like Victor, unfortunately, yes, he has a blick. And yes, he will use it. Just like Nina, she also has Blitz too, but I don't think they're as effective as his, but it's not spamming. It just, it sucks. It's an unfortunate game style, but I don't want to say unfortunate game style, but it's a game style that you kind of have to adapt to if you want to improve. All right, next up, guys, tip number two I have for you is have patience. Wait your turn. Now, what does that mean? What that means exactly is go by what your frames say there's a practice mode, you need to use it. Go in there, check out what your frames are. Know when you can move. If I am Warren, and let's get a knockdown real quick, let's knock her out. If I use this, okay, I didn't get her, hold on. There you go. That is minus 19. That is not my turn, my, my boy. It is not my turn, I promise you, it's not. If I use that and it's minus 19, you have to have the patience well, with that move in particular, you don't need the patience to do anything. You can punish that. That can be launched. But for me, as Wall Rain, if I throw that out, I need to have the patience to sit out. Especially if I'm not punished, I need to sit out. I need to wait my turn, block, just back up, just wait. Just wait. I don't need to swing. It is minus 19. That means I don't need to be swinging. Now, if someone is not punishing my minus 19, then by all means... Let him have something else. Or you know what, better yet, give him another one. They don't want to punish your minus 19 kick or whatever uppercut, whatever character you're using. They don't want to punish your minus 19 frame launcher. That's on them. Let them have it. But wait your turn when you throw these out. But just use your other options. I have this launcher right here I can use. This is only minus 7. So now I'll be waiting my turn until they do... Whatever they're going to do on their side. So let's set the CPU to actually attack. So they got, you know, this shit, whatever. I throw out mine, let me get a, a block, there we go, minus 7. So I want to wait. Wait your turn. I'm not safe to do anything on that minus 7. And the PC actually kind of sucks, so let me, let me put it to ultra hard so it'll start actually protecting itself. But look, you can easily just wait your turn when you're getting pressured. This is on ultra hard. Just make sure you're, you're put, putting out the right things. Use your safe options and you won't get launched. You see, I didn't use a safe option, I got launched. And just like that, she's in the air. And if you're not getting launched, you're doing a great job, but make sure you're punishing as well. This game also has, uh... 
a pretty decent punishment and training system. It's also another great way you can dive in and learn about what they can do. A great way to punish it. I didn't use the right one, but you use this one at a better time. But this has great punishment training as well. Oh, I ducked. My bad. Tells you, like, very simply what you can use to, uh, I'll say quickly punish people. Like, the most, uh, most effective, like, almost guaranteed, uh, way to punish people. And now we can go to tip number three. I'm gonna take the CPU off. We're going back to blocking normal and stuff. But as you can see, as I'm backing all the way up here, all the way to the back of the screen, don't be too patient. There is nothing wrong with having patience, but that's more in the essence of moving around, swinging, they're swinging at you, or they're spamming. But being too patient, sitting all the way back here, is fine when you're in the lead in, uh, in regards to your health. But if your health is low and you're way back here, you're not being very efficient for yourself. You're not doing yourself any favors. Unless you're Victor, you might be doing yourself a favor, I don't know. Because, you know, you don't have to throw hands, but the time runs out very quickly. You being back here, unless you have advantage, is a bad move. Don't be too patient. Another tip for you guys that I don't see enough online is using different combo routes or, like, uh, launches. I see you guys use, like, uh, say I have fought a few wall reigns online. I do see this a lot. I will see this tick over and over again. And you will get uppercutted every time. Or if I'm my other character, you, you, you will get punished every time, you, you feel me. Switch up what you're doing, don't be predictable. I'm basically calling you predictable, that's all I'm doing. But you're, you're being too predictable online, it's not getting you anywhere, you're not improving. You're using the same moves, and it's great when it works, it's cool if it hits. You know, have confidence in the hit, finish out the combo, good job. But don't throw out the move constantly if it's not working. If it stops working, throw out one of these. It's it's weaker, yes, but it's better to use it than this unsafe shit. As cool as it may be. You also got that one too, still unsafe. It doesn't matter. This is your safe option. Use your safe option, take the hit to your damage, and your health bar will be better for it. If you have made it this far, I hope these tips have helped you so far. We are on tip 5, and we are talking about lows and throws. So lows and throws. Online, I do not see enough lows i'm not gonna lie to you you're probably not winning your matches very often because you're not throwing out lows enough like this is like i'm telling you at the end of that health bar this is all you're gonna see from majority of higher level people is a whole bunch of lows going straight for them ankles that's it but if you're not using them you're not helping yourself out in the middle of the match you're throwing out straight mids this entire time you're not doing yourself any favors here you're literally not doing yourself any favors. You gotta throw in a low. It's easier with wall rain. Because his lows aren't too predictable sometimes. But with your character, you gotta start throwing your lows out. If you start incorporating lows in there, you'll start having a little bit of mix-up. You feel me? And then since we talked about the lows, you gotta include your throws. And I'm talking about them nice throws like that. I'm not talking about your typical ones like these. Those are easy. You break it with a one or a two. Nice and easy. It's not hard if you didn't know, there you go. Now you do. But learn the throws that your character offers that are very unique to the character. So the ones that maybe require you to press two buttons. You know, kind of like the the king kind of throws. You know, they do different things. Like, find your throw that does that. If your character doesn't have one, it is unfortunate. But, you know, still throw often. You know, you can try. It may be easy to break, but you can still throw very often. You'll be surprised who's not ready. I'm one of those people that are never ready for that shit for real, but I'm getting better at it. I'm practicing. You get in there and practice too. I also have a bonus tip for you guys. One more thing that might help you guys. The thing right behind me is the replay system in Tekken. Beautiful system, guys. Beautiful system. I really wish uh, MK had this kind of system. It does not, unfortunately. But you guys need to use this. Go on here. Look at your online matches and review your gameplays. It will help you so much. You'll, you'll learn so much and see what you did wrong in your matches. This is one of the biggest bonus tips I can offer you here. I hope you guys utilize this information. 
I hope you guys are improving. I want to see you guys rank up. I want to I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. Let me know if any of these tips have helped you guys. Go check out my other tip video on the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll holler at you later. Go practice. Go watch something else. I'm out of here.